Welcome to Real Vision's Trade Ideas. Today we're sitting down with Tom Thornton of Hedge Fund Telemetry. Great to have you back. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. So today let's talk about bonds. We've seen quite the rally in the bond market, specifically the 10-year treasury. What do you see going on there and, and can this rally continue or is it overdone? Okay, well, let me back up a little. And last October, when the yield was around 320, uh, we had very, very low uh, bullish sentiment. Uh, and we had uh, an upside DeMarc sequential countdown, which told us that the trend of higher yields was coming to an end. And we've had a bullish bias all the way down. We pressed uh, the bullish bias when we broke the March lows, which was around 2.36, and we targeted two, 210, which uh, we've surpassed. And so right now we have a very, very high bullish sentiment reading around 87. We've been in the 90s a little bit. But let me explain. Sentiment is a condition and it can stay, something can stay very bullish or very bearish for a period of time. What you need is a trigger. So we use DeMarc indicators, which are trend exhaustion indicators uh, we've talked about before. Uh, and what's important now is that we're seeing a lot of the same signals we had at the highs now at the lows, and not only on daily, but on weekly as well. So that gives me more conviction that we're gonna see a trend change uh, in yields. We're gonna see yields uh, perhaps retrace about half of what they've uh, gone down. Interesting, so a little bit more of a bearish perspective now. Yep. But if you look at Bonds over the past 30 years, betting against bonds hasn't been such a winning trade. So do you see this more as a, a short-term reversal or something that might be the end of the bond rally? Well, I don't like to call the end of the bond rally because we obviously could go go further and that we could stop out of this trade. But uh, I, I think that we could retrace uh, half of what we've done. Now, I could go out a little further and say, yeah, sure, we could see 4% on a much longer term basis on the 10 year, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I think the economy is not necessarily great, but I think bond yields are gonna back up. And so then in terms of the DeMarc indicators that you're looking at, at what point do you know you have confirmation that this there will be a reversal? Well, we're starting to see confirmations happening right now. Uh, we have several ETFs that are showing, uh, very well known ETFs like IEF and TLT are showing uh, exhaustion signals. So we have the 10-year treasuries as well the 10-year yield all doing it together and like I said we have the weekly on the 10-year um, holding the 2% which is exactly where it was in 2017 okay. right before they took off. So how would you recommend going about trading this? Well obviously you could short uh, treasuries here uh, with futures or you could short the TLT, IEF, uh, again, I like a little longer term duration. Uh, I don't necessarily want to say let's get shorting the start shorting the two year or five year, but I think a little further um, out on the curve, uh, you have a better bet. You can also buy put spreads on those uh, ETFs. Uh, I would like to say go out to August. You get the Fed meeting on July 31st. Uh, buy a put spread using a 35 delta and 10 delta. So you buy the 35 and you sell the 10. Okay. And then in terms of TLT or other ETFs, are there specific levels that you're looking at there? Well, I think on the TLT, I think you're going to probably see a little bit of support around 125. Mm -hmm. And it's around 132 now. So you have some downside potential there. And uh, that, so I'm, I'm not saying we're going to, you know, this is the end of the bull market uh, for bonds, but uh, I think that's a reasonable bet. What do you see as the biggest potential risk to this trade? The biggest risk is that the Fed cuts 50 basis points in July. Earnings are terrible. Economic reports come out even worse. And I think that's all very possible. However, what if they're not as bad? What if the China tariffs, there's a thaw this weekend, uh, at the G20. Uh, what if the Fed starts to say, look, we're kind of hedging a little bit here. There'll be speakers talking all through July, uh, and that could happen. What if earnings aren't as bad? Micron wasn't as bad. FedEx is up on a bad report. So if the market continues to go higher, I think the Fed's on hold, and I think the narrative in the market 
the overwhelming narrative has been the Fed's going to cut, bonds are going to rally, stay the, stay the course. And I think that's, that's a risk. If the bond market is topping right now, do you see equities continuing to climb in this scenario, or what do you see equities going? Well, I, I'm not necessarily very bullish on equities, mm -hmm. but I will say as at this level, uh, but I will say that there is potential. You could see uh, another move higher if, like, again, if earnings aren't as bad. Uh, there's that hope there. Uh, I can I can definitely make that case. But one of the things that uh, I've been looking at is a ratio of the 10-year yield versus the S&P 500. And on a weekly basis, we also have on that ratio a 13, countdown 13 to mark, and then a setup 9, which is what we saw at the peak. And this is taking a huge move versus the S&P uh, over the last year. And so I think there's mean reversion there as well. So that just gives me more confidence that this trade will work. Interesting. So you see equities, or specifically the S&P 500, potentially outperforming? Absolutely. So then could a, another potential trade be going long equities and short bonds, or is that a little bit too risky to dip I, your toes into? I, I have no problem with that, Okay. Um, I, just because of that ratio. Mm -hmm. I think the, the pair trade will work. Um, again, if it stops out, so be it. You move on. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you break down your thesis on bonds in 30 seconds? Yep. We have very, very high extreme sentiment in the bond market. We have downside exhaustion signals in the 10-year yield and upside exhaustion signals in the 10-year futures. Uh, we also see it in the long bond futures uh, and the ETFs as well. So when I see that confluence of indicators, combined with um, the sentiment condition, and you've got the trigger with the DeMarc indicators, uh, I think you have a, a trade to short bonds. Great. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So Tom is bearish on bonds. Specifically, he's interested in put spreads and recommends buying the August 35 Delta and selling the August 10 Delta on both of the Treasury ETFs, TLT and IEF. Just remember, this is a trade idea and not investment advice. You should do your own research, consider your risk tolerance, and invest accordingly. For Real Vision, I'm Justine Underhill. Okay.